Okay? And then, Mai Zamili. Now you try to analyze it. Mai, where is Murtada? Uh, <laughs> Sister Menas, you are quick to say Mai. What is the rule? Zarf can never be Muftada. Jar Majroor can never be Muftada. This is Zarf and Mudafilehi can never be Muftada. It can come as a khabar. So where is the Muftada? Zamilu, not Zamili. Zamilu wa huwa Mudaf ya Mutakalim Mudafilehi. And what is Ma'i? Is your Ma is your Shibu Jumla Khabar and Ya Mutakalim Mudafile. Let me write down this huh? and you can copy this inshallah. What is Ma, uh, brother? Zarf. And then I will write down Shibu Jumlati. What shall I write down? Khabar. Usme ham hua mudaf nahi kayenge. Are you with me? Zarf will say zarf. Usme nahi kayenge. But isku kya kayenge? Mudaf ilayhi. But that's what I said in Urdu was that zarf we will only say zarf. We won't say it is mudaf. No. Zarf followed by mudaf ilayhi. This is better. Okay? Fine. What is this, brother? Mubutada. Are you with me? Now we will say, Wahuwa Mudafun. And what is this? Mudaf Ilehi. Got your? Huh? Inshallah. We'll take a tea break, Inshallah. We start again, brothers and sisters, inshallah. Uh, now, number eight is very easy. Baitun, Baituka, Baituhu, Baituha, and Baiti. But alhamdulillah, we can do 14 times. Baituhu, Baituhuma, Baituhum. What did I say? Baituhu, Baituhuma, Baituhum. Baituha, Baituhuma, Baituhunna. Baituka, Baitukuma, Baitukum. Baituki, Baitukuma, Baitukunna. Baiti, Baituna. Now you can do with anything you want. Okay, brother and sister. Kalamuhu, Kalamuhuma, Kalamuhum. Kalamuha, Kalamuhuma, Kalamuhunna. Kalamuka, Kalamukuma, Kalamukum. Kalamuki, Kalamukuma, Kalamukunna. Kalami, Kalamuna. Rabbuhu, Rabbuhuma, Rabbuhum. What did I say? Rabbuhu, Rabbuhuma, Rabbuhum. Rabbuha, Rabbuhuma, Rabbuhunna. Rabbuka, Rabbukuma, Rabbukum. Rabbuki, Rabbukuma, Rabbukunna. Rabbi, Rabbuna. Alhamdulillah. Are you with me? Okay. Now comes Abun and Akhun. And I told you yesterday, they are special nouns. Huh? They are special. At this moment, I only want to say that they are special nouns. Little more detail. I will, in, when we go in little more detail, inshallah, I will explain you, brothers and sisters. Now, now Abu, when Abu will become Mudaf, Wa will come out. Are you with me, brother? That is a spelling rule, so watch for it. Abu ka, Abu hu, Abu ha, Abi. But you can say, you know, all the four things that we have done. Would you like to say it? Abu hu, Abu huma, Abu hum, Abu ha, Abu huma, 
Abu Hunna, Abu Ka, Abu Kuma, Abu Kum, Abu Ki, Abu Kuma, Abu Kunna, Abi, Abu Na. Got the idea? So easy, brother. Next one, Ahun. So we have here Ahu Ka, Ahu Hu, Ahu Ha, Ahi. We will do 14, inshallah. Ahu Hu, Ahu Huma, Ahu Hum, Ahu Ha, Ahu Huma, Ahu Hunna, Ahu Ka, Ahu Kuma, Ahu Kum, Ahu Ki, Ahu Kuma, Ahu Kunna, Ahi, Ahu Na. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, now the next thing, brothers and sisters, we are going to do it. Abi wa ummi fil bayt. First translation. Abi wa ummi fil bayt. How will you translate? My father and my mother in the house. Huh? Okay, now we want to analyze it if we can. Huh? It is not compulsory. Dr. Abdurrahim doesn't say that we should do it, but I feel that you are very strong, very intelligent. Inshallah, you'll be able to do it. So, brother, Abi, what is Abi? Mubtada. Abu is Mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. Ya mutakalam mudafile. And then, wow, what is wow? Ataf. And what is ummi? Mautufun ala Abu. Only um. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafile. You will also define it. Ummi as a mudaf mudafile. But what is mautufun is ummu. Mautufun to abu. Uh, fine. And what is fil baiti? Jar mazur shibu jumla khabar. Very good. Aina abuka ya hamidu. What is the answer? Zahaba ila suki. What kind of a jumla is this? Jumla failure. There is a verb. Where is the verb? Zahaba. Where is the file? Mostatir because it's huwa. And ila suk jar mazur. Right. Akhuka tabibun is your brother a doctor? La huwa mudarisun. What is huwa mudarisun? Mubtada and kabar. MashaAllah. Zainabu firriyadi. So what is Zainabu? Mubtada. Firriyadi jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Akhuha fitahif. Where is the mubtada? Akhu wa huwa mudaf. Ha, mudaf ilayhi. Fit ta'ifi, what is it? Chai majur, shibu jumla khabar. Wa abu ha, what is abu? Mubtada. Ha, mudaf ilayhi. And then, fil madinati, jai majur, shibu jumla khabar. And what is al-munawwarati? Naat. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. Now comes a complex sentence. Haza talibu. What is haza? Mubtada. Hadha is Mubtada. And what is Talibu? Badal. So Hadha is Ismu Shara, Mubtada. What Talibu? Badal. Badal, leave it aside. Put a line and leave it aside. Forget it. Huh? Forget it. Now what is the sentence? Abuhu Wazirun. So what is Abu? Mubtada. Wa Muda. Hu Muda Filehi. And Wazirun? Khabar. Huh? Okay. Again, wow came. Ataf. Huh? And what is akhuhu? Mubtada. Huwa mudaf. Mudaf ilahi. What is tajirun? Khabar. And kabirun? Na. Now this whole jumla ismiya is coming as a khabar for hazat talibu. Is that? Naima? Naima samaj me aya? Don't worry. Haza talibu. What is haza? Muftada. What is talibu? Batal. Chhod do ek taraf. Pool jaye usko. Lekin hai. We are only temporarily putting them aside. We are reading now forward. What is it? Abu hu. What is abu? Muftada. What is hu? Mudafilehi. What is wazirun? Khabar. What is wow? Ataf. What is Akhu? Mubtada. What is Hu? Mudafilehi. What is Tajirun? Khabar. Khabar for Akhu. Kabirun? Naat. Now this whole thing that we read, what is it? 
this whole thing is a khabar for Aza Talib. This student, what about this student? Huh? Look, look at me. Huh? This student, what about it? Give me the news. His father is a wazir and his brother is a big merchant. So that is whole thing is a news. Huh? See how the pronoun came? His father and his brother. Huh? Got the idea? Inshallah. Okay. You have a big advantage, Sister Naima. <laughs> You have your husband also, Alhamdulillah. Huh? Zahaba akhi. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla is failure. Okay, brother, we got to find out where is the verb? Zahaba. Where is the file? Akhu. Remember, file is marfu. So you will say, Akhu is your file. Wahuwa, mudaf, and ya mutakallim. Mudaf ilayhi. Got the idea? Huh? Akhu is two words. Huh? One is marfu and one is majroor. Huh? Because it is mudaf mudaf ilayhi. The file can be only marfu. So akhu is your file. Wa huwa mudaf. And ya mutakallim mudaf ilayhi. Clear? Sister Mamuna, is this clear sister? Yeah. Inshallah. Huh? Ilal madrasati. Jahan majur khalas. Wa, wow, atav, and zahaba, fial, abi, where is the file? Abu, wa huwa mudaf, and ya mutakalam mudafili, ila jamiati. Jahan majur khalas. Okay, brother. Now, number nine is only telling you that some proper nouns have tanween and some proper nouns have single dhamma. When you see single dhamma on a proper noun, what does it tell you? It tells you I am a diptote. I am declinable, but only to a certain extent. So, okay, brother and sister, hamzatu, marfu, make it mansub, hamzata, make it majroor, hamzata, khalas. Are you with me? Talhatu, talhata, talhata. Okay. Usamatu, Usamata, Usamata. Muawiyatu, Muawiyata, Muawiyata. But then it is Ikramatu. But it is Ikramatu. Ikramatu, Ikramata, Ikramata. Are you with me? Compared to this, Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin. Khalidun, Khalidan, Khalidin. Okay? What we are going to do now? Read the names, read the following names, and put proper vowel signs at the end. In other words, you should know whether the noun ends with a single dhamma or the noun ends with a tanveen. Okay, ready? Okay. Khali dun. Hamza tu. Amma. Ana sun. Ana sun. Muawiya tu. Hami And what is the next one, brother? Usama tu. Usama tu. Ikrama tu. Abba Muhammad Talha tu. Okay, fine, brother. Al kalimatul jadid. Az zamilu. Definite noun. Kalig. Az Spouse. What is it? Spouse. Wahidun. One. Fatan. Young fellow. You know? Teenager. Fatan. Teenage. Young, young fellow. You know? Fatan is a young fellow. Ma'a. With. Atteflu. Child. A child. Male child. The Teflatu will become little girl. Al Kuwaitu, 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 fine brother. Now we come to lesson number 11. Adasul Hadia Ashara. Okay, brother, she said, this is an essay. What is it? An essay. An essay. Huh? And, and you can read it and enjoy it. And you can memorize it. And you can use it for your own house. 
Aza Baiti. Look, you point out to your house and say, Aza Baiti. Huh? This is my house. Okay, brother. Little bit of analysis. What is Aza? Mubtida. Oh, where is the khabar? Baitu. Wa huwa mudaf. And ya mutakalim mudaf ilahi. Are you with me? You won't say a whole Baiti is khabar. No, Baitu is khabar. If it is one word, it has to be marfu. Okay. Baiti amam al masjidi. Okay, Baiti. What is Baiti? Mubtada. Baitu mubtada huwa mudaf ya mutakalim mudaf ilahi. Where is the khabar? Amama. Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. And what is Al Masjidi? Mudafile. See? Now you are analyzing the whole thing and you can do it. But I do not expect you to really sit down and do it. Translation will be enough. But there is some important complex sentence I will ask you to analyze. Baiti huh? Jamilun. What is the translation? My house is beautiful. Huh? Fihi. Hadikatun sagiratun. Okay, but then what is fihi? Huh? I know that. <laughs> Jar majroor shibu jumla khabar. Are you with me? Jar majroor sh- because it cannot be muftada. Jar majroor shibu jumla khabar. And see if the muftada is definite or indefinite. Where is muftada? Indefinite. It came late. Why? Tim Horton. <laughs> okay. And what is Sagiratun? Nah. nah. Huh? See, makes sense now. And we can understand why Sagiratun came late. Because it is indefinite. Huh? Okay. Indefinite nouns will usually have Jar Majrur Shibu Jumla coming as a khabar. So we will call it Fihi Shibu Jumla Khabar, Sister Menas. Khabar Mukaddam. And what will you call? Hadikatun Mubtada Muakhar. If you want to say it, you know. Hadihi Gurfati. This is my room. Fiha, again Fiha. What is Fiha? Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Where is the Mubtada? Nafizatun. What is Kabiratun? Naad. Got the idea? Translation? There is a big window in it. Wa mirwahatun jamilatun. Wa mirwahatun ceiling fan. Huh? Huh? In it, there is a big window and a beautiful fan. Fan, huh? Ceiling fan. Brother Hassan, mirwahatun is a ceiling fan. Huh? See, nowadays uh, all houses and condos are all uh, centrally heated our children don't see the ceiling fan but if you go to Middle East or India, Pakistan every room has a <laughs> ceiling fan huh? ok Haza Sariri this is my bed simple uh, you know analysis Haza Sariri Haza Kursiji Haza Maktabi is it easy and you can translate and you can analyze. Huh? Okay. Sa'ati wa kalami wa kitabi ala al-maktabi. You can translate. My watch, my pen, my book is on there. Now let us analyze. Sa'ati. What is sa'ati? Sa'atu is your muptada. Wa huwa muda. And then mudafili. And what is wa? Ataf. And what is Kalamu Mautufun ala Saatu. Wa huwa mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Are you follow me? Mautufun ala sa. Then again wow came. Sister Manas, uh, Sister Maimuna, now you see how we go? Huh? They are coming close to each other. And what is the next one, brother? Kitabi. What is Kitabu? Uh, mautufun ala sa. It will go to the first. Saatu. Wa huwa mudaf and ya mutakalim mudafili. And what is alal maktabi? Jarun majrur shibu jumla khabar. Got the idea? Wa haqibati taht al maktabi. Now, but the wow came. Ataf. See? This is a new sentence, you know. Wa haqibati. 
Where is the Mubtada? Hakibatu. Wa huwa mudaf and then mudafili. What is tahta? Zarf. And you will say shibu jumla khabar. And what is al maktabi? Mudafili. Got the idea? Nafizatu gurfati maftuhatun. Now this is tricky. Tricky in the sense we will enjoy analyzing it. Huh? Okay, but where is Mubtada? Nafiza. What is it then? Wa huwa mudaf. Where is mudaf ilihi? Gurfati. Only gurfati without ya mutakalim. Wa huwa mudaf. And then ya mutakalim, mudaf ilihi. Shall I write it down on the board? Inshallah. I will write it down, brother. Okay, brother and sister. Nafizatu. What is nafizatu? Mubtada. So I will write down. Mubtada. And plus it is? Mudaf. What is this, brother? Mudaf. Ilehi. <coughs> Are you with me? Then it is turning around and making itself Mudaf. And what is this, Ya Mutakalim, brother? Mudaf. Is it clear? This should be very clear, brother, because we have done it many times. Do you see now how it goes? Huh? How we analyze, brother? Brother Salman, do you see that? Huh? You must write it down if you have to. If you, are, if you can memorize it and remember it, it's okay. Okay, where is the khabar? Maftu hatun. Why there is a ta marbuta on there? Because the muptada is mournness. If the muptada is mournness, the khabar has to be mournness. Fine, brother. Hadhi gurfatu ukhti. Hadhi mubtada. Where is khabar? Gurfatu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then, gurfati, akhi mudaf ilay. Let me write down again this. Just for once. So that you can... Hazihi Gurfatu Akhi. I'm deliberately taking the ya a little further away. But what is Hazihi Mubtata? Where is the khabar? Gurfatu. Okay. Wahuwa Mudaf. And only Akhi Mudaf Ilehi. Wahuwa Mudaf. And ya mutakallim, mudafili. Did, do you get it? Huh? Shall I write it? Shall I write it? Okay, I'll write down. Azihi mubtada. And gurfatu badar is your khabar. Plus it is mudaf. And what is akhi? Mudaf ilahi. Plus it is Mudaf. And what is this ya? Mudaf ilayhi. Wa ataf telka mubtada. There is the khabar? Gurfatu. Wa huwa mudaf. There is mudaf ilayhi, ukhti. Without ya mutakalim, wa huwa mudaf. And finally, ya mutakalim, mudaf ilayhi. Just like that. Huh? Just like that. Huh? Fine. Gurfatu akhi, kabiratun. Wa gurfatu ukhti, sagiratun. So where is mubtada? Gurfatu. Wa huwa mudaf. And where is mudaf ilayhi? Akhi, without ya mutakalim, wa huwa muda. And ya mutakalim, mudaf ilahi. Where is the khabar? Kabiratun. Then wow is ataf. Another sentence, gurfatu mubtada, huwa mudaf, ukhti mudaf ilahi, wa huwa mudaf, and ya mutakalim, mudaf ilahi. And then comes sagiratun khabar. Very good. I will only write down here this, brother. Because the rest we have done it. 
Okay, I'm only writing this much. Now, we start the sentence. What is the sentence, brother? Gurfatu Ukhti. Now you can see. Gurfatu Gurfatu Akhi. Okay, brothers and sisters. Mubtada, Muda, Mudafilehi, Muda, Mudafili. How many how many words are there? Gurfatu Ukhti. How many words are there? Three. That's all we have to analyze them. Okay, Mubtada. Mudaf, Mudafilihi, Mudaf, Mudafilihi. Now comes Amama. Zarf, Shibu Jimla Khabar. Okay. What is Gurfati after that? Mudafilihi. Wahua Mudaf and Ya Mutakalim Mudafilihi. Are you with me? See, this is your Amama. This is your Zarf. And this is your Shibu Jumla Khabar. And what is Gurfati? Mudaf ilahi. Plus it is Mudaf. And then this Ya is your final Mudaf ilahi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The next one is Gurfatu Ukhti. Gurfatu Ukhti Amamal Matbakhi. Translation, brother? My sister's room is in front of the kitchen. You see, you, Alhamdulillah, you can translate it beautifully. Li Akhun Wahidun. What is Li, brother? Char Mazur, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Mubtada Akhun Wahidun Naat. Ismuhu Uthama. So, what is, where is Mubtada? Ismuhu. Wali Uhtun Wahidatun. You got it. Ismuha Swat. So you can do it. Abi wa ummi fi tilkal gurfatil kabirati. Now this is a beautiful sentence. This is a beautiful sentence. Plus there is a little fun in it. Abi. Abi wa ummi fi tilkal gurfatil kabira ti. You can have it too, brother. Huh? Now, this is really beautiful sentence. To analyze. Remember my words. The more complex it becomes, the more enjoyable it becomes. Huh? So do not run away from complex sentences. They are truly very, very beautiful, and you know, and we can enjoy analyzing it. Abi, where is Abu? Abu. See, all these whole essay has no. So far, no jumla failure. All were jumla ismiya. So I'm st right away. I'm telling you where is Muftada. Where is Muftada? Abu. Wahua, Muda. And then ya mutakalim, Mudafili. Then came wow, Ataf. And what is Ummu? Mautufu kara Abu. Wahua Mudaf. Wa Mudafili. Sahi. We done with the Muftada part. Is a smushara, it is a pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, but it is a noun. So if I say harf jar, isam majroor. So where is your isam majroor in this case? Tilka. I don't see kasra because it is mabni, because it is fixed. Fine. Okay, brother. And what is al gurfati? Huh? What is al tilka uh, gurfati? Badal. Bhul gaya. A definite noun coming after ismu shara is your badal. Not badal. Okay, aap log badal ban gaye. Okay, brother. 
This is your what is this, mother? Ismu Shara. It is Ism Majroor, but it is Ismu Shara. Fi Tilka. Fi Tilka. Char Majroor Shibu Jumla Khabar. Huh? Are you with me? Fi Tilka Al Gurfati, you can say if you want to say. Are you with me, Sister Salma? Sister Arifat? Sister, did you get it? Sister Memuna? Again I will repeat. Okay, Fi Harf Jar. Where is Ism Majroor? Tilka. Now remember, Tilka is a ismu shara, but it is here ism majrur. And a definite noun came with al. So what is this? Badal. But why it is majrur? Because Tilk is majrur. Because Badal will always take the vowel signs of, the, we call it Mubad. Mubadal minhu. We call it Mubadal minhu, but don't write it. It's not necessary. Don't, don't stress yourself. We know it comes from Ismu Shara. It call, it's called Mubadal Minhu. From where the Badal is coming. Huh? But do not worry about those technical terms. And uh, again Mubtada. Now where is the Khabar? You don't know this verb. Ohebbu. Huh? I love. Huh? Now this verb we will deal later on. This is actually present tense. We are only trying to concentrate in the past tense. You know, our practice in the morning is all past tense. This is present tense. So, I think Dr. Abdurrahim has no choice but to use this verb to express our love for our parents. Ana mubtada. Now, ohebbu abi wa ummi is jumla, jumla failure. I don't want to go in detail. Huh? Okay. Otherwise, it will confuse. Wa uhebbu akhi wa uksi. And I love my brothers. Okay, brother. Tamarinu. Man fi hadal baiti. See, now we are coming across jar majroor. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But we already know it. Fihi is no stranger to us. We have been practicing for the last two to three days. Fihi hamidun, brothers and sisters. Fihi hamidun. What is fihi? Char majru, shibu jumla khabar. Where is muftada? Hamidun. Sahi? Hamidun is your muftada. Okay. Maza fil hakibati. What is in your hakiba? Okay. What is in your bag? See, hakiba is a monas, so you say. Fiha. House was Muzakkar, you said Fihi. Now you say Fiha. Okay? What is Fiha? Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Where is Mubtada? Kitabu. Wahua Muda. Then Wow came. Kalamu. Matufun ala Kitabu. Wahua Muda. Yamatakalim Mudafili. Wa Daftari. Daftaru is Matufun ala. Kitabu wa huwa mudaf and mudafilihi. Got the idea? Mautufun should not be a problem. Manfi sayarati, who is in the car? Manfi sayarati, who is in the car? Fiha, okay, what is fiha? Jar majru shibu jumla khabar. Where is muftada? Abi Abu wa huwa muda muda. So brother, everything is now mautufun, mautufun, mautufun. Abi wa ummi wa akhi wa ukhti. Fine. My brother, my father, my father, my mother, my brother, and my sisters are in it. Okay. Man fi masjid al jamiyati al ana. Who is in the Masjid of the Jamia now. Okay? Okay. Fi Harchar Masjidi Isam Majroor Wa Huwa Mudaf and Al Jamiati Mudafili. What is that? Ana? Zarf. Zarf, Zarf, Zarf. Zarfu Zaman. Zarfu Zaman. Okay. What is the answer, brother? Ma fi hi ahadun. What is ma? Harfu nafi. What is it? Harfu nafi. Particle of? Negation. Okay. Uh, what is fihi? Jar majur shubu jumla khabar. Where is muftada? 
Ahdun, Alhamdulillah. Man fi hadihil gurfati, who is in this room? Okay, again, this is a beautiful thing. Man, okay, we know who. Fi, what is fi? Afja. Where is Islam Majroor? Hadihi. And after Hadihi comes Al Gurfati. What is Al Gurfati? Badal. Got the idea? You won't say Mudafuda Fili. It is Badal. Man fi Hadil Gurf. Who is in this room? So fi Harfjar, Hadihi is a Majroor, and Al Gurfati? Badal. Brothers and sisters, very soon you are going to fall in love with Badal. <laughs> it will come so many times. Fiha Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar Al Mudi. Why will you say Ri, brother? Fiha Jar Majur. Fi cannot go further than Ha. Huh? Okay, in it. Okay, so what will you say now? Al Mudi. If you say Al-Mudiru, why? It is definite, but more than that. It is Muftada. It is definite, but it is Muftada. It cannot be, it cannot be Mudiri, brother. If you say Mudiri, then explain me, why will you call it Mudiri? It can be No, no, Mudiri, Fi, what will make Mudiri Majroor? No, preposition can only go to one thing. Fi ha. Ha is your majroor. Are you with me? Khatam. Okay? Ha is majroor. And it is definite. And if it is definite, it cannot become mudaf. So al mudiru because it is mubtada. Are you with me? You must understand this very well. See, before you had no problem, brother. Nothing. Fi will only. Arfchar will affect only one noun. After that, you got to be careful. If there is no chain of mudaf, mudaf ilahi, or, or uh, naat, manut, or something, huh, then you cannot make it majroor. Now, fi, fi ha al mudiru, mubtada. Now I say, fil gurfati, Al Mudi, Fil Gurfati, Fil Gurfati, Al Mudiru. Huh? So Mudiru is your Muftada, it's coming late. So why is Alif now? No, no. Al, al can come. But in certain cases, Sister uh, Manas, in order to emphasize something, the Fihi can come in the beginning. In this particular case, it is for emphasis. Okay? But don't worry. Uh, we will learn later on. But I think you did get confused and you started saying fi uh, al mudir as a mudiri. No, mudiru. Huh? Okay? Let me change it, brother. Now, I am only doing this to explain you. Because if I were to write down Phil Gurfati, I would have written Al Mudiru Phil Gurfati. I would have written Al Mudiru Phil Gurfati. But because you got confused, huh, your sentence is Fiha Al Mudi, and you have no vowel sign, so you were very confused. If I write down Fihi a Phil Gurfati, Al Mudiru Fi Gurfati. See Al Gurfati. This Al cannot be Mudaf because it has got Al. You know Mudaf Ilahi cannot have Al and Tanmin. So it, this cannot be Mudaf Ilahi because there is no room for it. Al. Similarly, this al, ha is also definite. Didn't I tell you? All pronouns are definite. And the effect of fi is only here. It cannot go beyond 
Ha. So then, what is this? If you say Al-Mudiri, it is wrong. Huh? Fiha is Jar Majroor. It is a Shubu Jumla. It is a Khabar. Now we must look for Mubtada. And Mubtada is always Marfu. Okay? But if I were to write down Fil Gurfati, then I will always bring it here. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I will always bring it here. Okay. Ikra. Ohebbu Abi wa Ummi. Only you will you will uh, translate. I love my father and mother. Ohebbu Ahi wa Ukhti. Ohebbu Zamili. I love my colleague. Ohibbu Stazi, I love my teacher. I hope it is true. <laughs> okay. Now comes Ohibullah. What is this? Allah. What is this? Mansub. We haven't learned something like this. And we are not going to go in detail. <laughs> but just to tell you, here Allah is object. What is it is? Object. We are going to learn these things in book two. See, Dr. Abdurrahim is so particular. One thing at a time. So when he teaches you uh, uh, Char Majroor and all these things, Mudaf Mudafile, he does not want to bring Mansub in it. Huh? And when he will teach us about objects in, in lesson number five, book two, it will come in wholesale. From everywhere objects will appear. You know, so Ohebu Allah ha. Here Allah is your object. Okay, but more than that, don't worry. Just translation. What is the translation? Ohebu Allah. I love Allah. Okay. Ohebu Nabi ya. See, again it is object. Mafulun bihi. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I love the Prophet. Oh ho 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 ho. What a beautiful sentence in the end. Ohebbu al logatal al arbiyata. See, now arbiyata came as a nath for logata. Mansub? Mansub. What is the translation of Ohebbu al logatal arbiyata? I love the Arabic language. How true it is. Inshallah, Allah will make it true for us. Inshallah. Huh? Brothers and sisters, it's time up. Next lesson is very interesting. You will be learning now. Kaifa haluki and kaifa haluka and kaifa halukum. Kaifa haluka, you will say, Ana bi khair. Walhamdulillah. Always say, Walhamdulillah. Kaifa haluki, Ana bi khair. Walhamdulillah. We are going to analyze it. Sometimes people will ask you, Kaifa haluka. And your answer will be Bikhair. What is Bikhair? Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. What happened to the Muptada? You were so hungry that you ate the Muptada. Actually, it's Anna. But you have to eat Why do you eat You were both book lagi. Okay? So sometimes you will see the answer. Kaifa Haluki, you will say Bikhair, Alhamdulillah. But actually, it is Anna Bikhair, Alhamdulillah. What is Anna? Muftada. Where is Khabar? Bikhair. Jai Majur Shibuja. Now, brother, Halu. Halun. What is this, brother? Halun. What is the meaning of Halun? Hal kaisa hai janab ka? Kya khayal hai aap ka? How are you? Yeni? What is your state? Are you with me? So, brother, Huh? Our our drill. What will be our drill? Haluhu, haluhuma, haluhum, haluha, haluhuma, haluhuna, haluka, halukuma, halukum, haluki, halukuma, halukun, and then hali, and then haluna. We can do it, brother. So now we will only concentrate on haluka, ki, 
and kum and kunna. Are you with me, inshallah? Huh? Okay. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatau, fil akhirati hasanatau, wa kina adab nar Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina qurrata ayunin, wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama. Rabbana taqabbal minna, innaka anta samyul alim. وَتُبُ عَلَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ تَوَابُ رَحِيمٌ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ أَمَّا يَسِفُونَ